evening. So, day 22 this time. Yep, let's see, I got it there. Just to check it out. Um, it's been quite a good day. So I woke up absolutely shattered. No real reason. Just really, really tired. Um, I went to work normal time, but just felt a little bit lighter, I think. Not physically, sorry, just messing around with my hair. Um, just felt happier today. Don't know why, don't know what was brought that about. Um, so, yesterday I got the chance to go and see my nephew and hold him, which was lovely. Um, today I've managed to achieve some things in work. No massive things, but because I'm in a fairly new job role, it is nice to feel like I might actually be getting somewhere. Um, also went and saw my uncle who's in intensive care at the moment so he has had a triple heart bypass um, he um denied a little bit about going to see him partly because after my dad died he upset my mum a little bit but that's a stupid reason not to go and see him partly because I haven't seen him for a long time that's also a stupid reason not to go and see him. Um, and another bit was, would it just bring back a load of memories from my dad? I'm really glad I went to go and see him. So, yes, it did bring back some memories of my dad. He did look quite unwell. Um, he's only three days post-op. He's got a fantastic, fantastic war wound right down the centre. Obviously, you can't see at the moment. He's got drains in, he's got lines in, he's got tubes in. Hospital stuff like that doesn't frighten me. Um, I've been around it a long time. So, obviously, I'm well aware that it's all um, purely for his benefit. No other reason. He has got a central line in, which obviously there are ones that are a little bit more serious. Um... But then so a triple heart bypass, which is what it had done. I think there was that bit of me knowing that Dad hated being in hospital because he was lonely. Um, felt quite isolated. No. <gasps> Luckily my uncle, he's quite tired, so I was only there about 20 minutes and he was struggling to stay awake talking to, to me. Um, but he seems, memory seems good and everything, and he's only 64, so he's not old. Um, however, he is the same age or about the same age that my dad was when he passed away. So that's a bit of a shitter, really. Um, but he remembers what happened up until he passed away. Um, he remembers what happened until he had his heart attack. And just before his heart attack, he can remember everything since, obviously he's come round and everything where he's been staying. He was in Swindon. I quite clearly told him that uh, Dad is not prepared to have him up there yet with him. Um, I showed him a picture of my nephew, which was nice to be able to share that with him. I think there's just one poignant sort of thing for me. When my dad was ill, I always touched his hands 
when I was leaving the room or saying bye and I held Dennis's hand and he squeezed my hand a little bit which we've never been a close family or anything like that but it was like that sort of thing was that like way of saying thank you or I'm alright or I'm here just just that so um so yeah then after I up at the hospital where I work and where my uncle is <sighs> they have got a cafe on the top floor and the view from that is amazing um which is what's at the start of this video or vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, looking out over Bristol, I absolutely love it. And I sat there for about an hour um, with my brother to make sure they're all good because they're home with the baby now. Um, but I just, I love just sitting and watching and looking at the view. Um, I got it when I went to take the um, sort of little video clip of the view from up there. I looked down and right on the road outside the hospital had clearly been quite a bad accident. Ambulances, everything. And you could see, obviously, the paramedics. There was critical care doctors there as well. So in their fancy orange jumpsuits. It's life and death right there, isn't it, really? My uncle, triple heart bypass. Some person, you know, he didn't know his life was about to alter. Um, like it has. That person, I'm sure, when they left their house this morning, had absolutely no idea what was going to happen tonight. I mean, I could literally look straight down on what they were doing. Um hitting the um, oxygen on, putting all the various monitoring equipment on, wrapping them to keep them warm, then into a um, tight sleeping bag to keep them further warm and everything and then they were popped into an ambulance and obviously that went on its way <sighs> so it's a lot of reminders today of how everything can just change but it doesn't always change for the worse so obviously those two instances no they're not the best situations um i hope obviously whoever that person was is okay um i don't know what had happened there um but it was also quite surreal being up in that calf just seeing watching everything going on so so yeah, I think it just gives you a bit of food for thought, really. So I've been doing a lot of thinking about what I want to do with my life, my career, my, my everything, really. But I just feel a bit happier today. I can't explain why. Just, I don't know, maybe it was just that time up looking out on that view sitting quiet doing nothing so for now that's me bye